we're highlighting this new website, Overland Park Dedicated. This is all for street sweeping. The city says that street sweeping is one of, if not the most requested service from Overland Park residents. So now you can see when the sweeper will be on your block. <laughs> Following this map, I'm imagining people sitting at home just watching the map. Wondering Where's the sweeper? 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan joins us with a closer look at the program. Charlie, you can imagine this time of year, lots of leaves and brush after that hard winter. Exactly, it's all this leftover from winter time that's, that they want to sweep up. And as you can see, we found ourselves the street sweeper early this morning here near 119th and Lamar. So there they are going in action. They started the sweeping uh, about April and they say it'll be the end of June before they get to all the city streets because there's only four sweepers that the city has and they have to cover 1900 miles. As you can see, it's a slow process. They only go about three miles per hour, so they're asking for some patience. I mean, their project here is like go driving from Overland Park to Seattle and doing it at three miles per hour. But I rode along with Chris, who you're looking at there yesterday, and he told me that one of the biggest obstacles that street sweepers face is the uh, parked cars or impatient or impair, uh, distracted driving. So he's asking folks, if you're out and about, to, to definitely uh, pay attention to the sweet street sweepers and, and he'll he'll wait for you if you see the street sweeper coming down the block and he'll to wait for you to come out and move a car. But he says definitely be weary of their blind spots. They're always in a hurry in this town. And I don't get it. They ought to just slow down and enjoy life a little bit. <laughs> Of course, they're not used to driving three mile an hour like I am either. No, not a lot of people used to driving that slow, that's for sure. Now, the city uh, sweeps the streets twice a year in the spring and in the fall. And if you want to see that website that uh, lets you kind of track their progress, that new website, it's up on our web links page of KSHB.com. And I also have it on my Twitter page at Charlie Keegan 41. I'm reporting live in Overland Park, Charlie Keegan 41 Action News Today.